Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. It's a bit chilly here. We just killed Flacco Hernandez. Hold on a second. Okay, yeah. No, I'm sorry. I thought this was Horseshoe Overlook. I was like, wait a second. Okay, he was right about here. And... Hmm. It's kind of tempting to go back and visit Coulter, actually, but... On the way back, uh, we don't have any other like missions to do up here, so I am going to go back. But on the way back, I'm going to check out whatever this is over in Mount Hagen over here. There's some mysterious little buildings, and it looks like I need to follow a path south of Lake Isabella. And then kind of go up the mountain and see what that is. It looked really cool, and I'd love to check it out. That being said... Since we're this close already, I, I guess I'll avoid the Adler Ranch. I really doubt there's anything there for us. I might go pay a visit to Coulter, though, since, since we're this close. Now, how are we on food and everything else? Not bad. Not bad at all. Man, this is such a different environment from what we're used to now. Okay, fella. Okay, indeed. We got everything we came for in the cabin. From what I remember, there wasn't too much in there. We got the picture of Flacco. I can't wait to fight those, uh, or at least meet the other gunslingers. I don't even know if we'll have to actually duel all of them. I'm assuming we will, though, just because of the nature of the quest. What time is it here? Time to quick save. Time to auto save. It is 345, 23 degrees Fahrenheit. Cold. But it's honestly colder outside right now, where I am. <laughs> okay, I see the fence. I see Coulter. We're going to go check that out real quick. Yeah, there's not going to be any harvestable plants around here. I can almost guarantee you that. I thought that flute in the background was a wolf for a split second there. Well, here's the old homestead. Pearson used to be right about there. This is cool. Visiting an old, old shelter. It was very temporary. And if I'm breaking immersion a little bit, it was purely for the sake of the tutorial. But there was a decent story in here, too. I mean, John... We found John. We found Micah. John recovered. There's, like, horse poop in here and stuff. Not interested in that, to be honest. Let's check the outhouse, because you never know... Never mind, that door's... Long closed. You never know what you find in an outhouse. <laughs> I mean, usually you can kind of guess, but. Oh. I'd be very surprised if I find anything useful in these parts, but it sure doesn't have a. Sure doesn't hurt to have a look. We were in here at one point. This is where I think Hosea was in here. This is where we started right after the first tutorial mission. Oh, you can actually sleep on this bed. That's so cool. The floorboards like creak as you're walking. There's a cot. Then I believe John. No, this wasn't. This is. I forget who was in here. Hmm. It's 
pretty abandoned place. It's actually pretty like lonely feeling. Kind of creepy in a way. Like you just don't know. I don't know. I keep getting the feeling that I'm not alone. I'm sure it's nothing. We found Kieran while we were living here. That's where John was recovering. Abigail was standing on his head at one point. Hmm. Uh, you never know. You know, you might never... We might never come back here. So we got to take time and kind of reminisce a little bit. Oh, some wind. This is the treehouse. House of Trees. Yeah, everything past this point's been practically destroyed. Actually, isn't this the place? Nine degrees. Yeah, this is the place I tried to navigate and then it I died because I wasn't paying attention. Is it still like that? There's only one way to find out. Oh, I see a goat over there. I'm not going to haul that all the way back to camp, though. Eight degrees. Yeah, I have a feeling it's just going to be blizzard-like conditions if we go this way. Let's grab Butch and see. I'm not going to kill him this time, though. Just to get an idea. Uh, I wonder... I wonder if that's the game's way of preventing us from going too far. Because that seems like the edge of the map. I could be wrong. Maybe it's just... No, maybe it's not. I don't know. No, it is, because it lets me go that direction. It doesn't let me go up anymore. So I'm guessing that's the their way of walling off an area. Well, Butch, we'll give it a quick try. We'll turn around as soon as it says the weather's too bad. Eight degrees is pretty cold. Butch sure doesn't like it. There's an elk there, or something. Buck. Huh, it's not stopping us yet. Although I think it will in a second. Okay there, boy. Temperature seven degrees. No, it's not stopping us. So, maybe I was wrong. Well, I don't need to go all the way up there, but that's good to know. Alright, back we go. This is crazy weather. By the way, another immersion breaking fact. I'm sure the weather is completely location based. Like, I'm, I guarantee you by the time we get back to Coulter, it's not going to be snowing like this. Back to eight. It's getting darker too. So yeah, now we're back in Coulter and it's like ten degrees. The weather's lighting it letting up. Still windy though. So what's this way?
Okay, let's go to that waypoint. Marker, whatever it is. So I need to take... Take a left here. Uh, well... No, I don't have to. I can just follow Spider Gorge. And kind of make my way southeast. Yeah, let's do that. But... Is that the path, or what? Yeah, yeah that's the problem. You, you can't totally tell when you're on a trail. <laughs> that's my boy. <laughs> he loves his horse. Well, if that's the case, if I can't see trails, I'm just going to go through the snow. Or follow the river, I guess. Spider Gorge. You alright, boy? Shake. Nope, I'm not alright. Okay. Hey. Those look like hungry wolves. Hold on a second. Easy there. Yeah, here they come. Oh, hold on. Man, I can't I can't look down. I'm gonna have to get off the horse. Something wrong with the aiming here. Whoa! Okay, you know what? No. Yeah, I don't think so. I didn't actually mean to get out my rifle, but I'll take it. Stupid wolves. Might as well skin it. I don't need the pelt. But I'll carry whatever's best. Poor wolf pelt. Two big game meat. Wolf heart. Plus one dead eye. Now the other one... I'm going to drop the pelt down. I know I'm not going to need that. This one, I'm, I'm going to skin as well. It has a poor pelt too, so I'm not even going to bother. I'll just grab the meat and go. I don't know why I was having so much trouble aiming with the, the pistol. It was it wasn't letting me look down or I don't know. Well. Let's see. It kind of got turned around. We I need to cross there and keep going southeast. Okay. Dead Boot Creek. Go back to my horse. I can swim this, right? Well, it's not much to swim. You know, let's feed him. And let's feed ourselves. Let's do a quick... Um, I'm just going to eat something. Pineapples, salted beef, maybe. Strawberries. Okay. Let's go, boy. Let's keep following that river. Yeah. Too bad the horse doesn't have headlights. Can you imagine how hard it would have been to actually navigate back then at nighttime? I'm assuming most people just didn't do it. Not too great.
This is a great place to come hunting. So much wildlife. Are we in the right spot? I don't want to go too far. Uh, no, not in particular. I could follow that path, though. Just go around the lake. You almost have to do that anyway. It's just a longer path. So if I can find an easy way to cross the little river here, I will. Otherwise, I'll just go around it. Yep. Hmm. Yeah, that looks doable. Let's cross here. I think that was a good call. Huh. I'm so confused without trails, I'm sorry. So turn left and go along the lake, okay. That makes sense. Oh, legendary animal territory, huh? Oh, you know, this is probably where we saw that bear, me and... Hmm... Not Lenny. What's the dude? Jacob? I forget. Uh, we saw that bear and we went, like, the other way. That was kind of intense. You okay, boy? That looks like a trail. Up that mountain. Yeah, this is definitely where we want to be. Oh, look, 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 though. Hold on. There's another one. That's not a bunker. That's like a... I wonder if that's actually what I saw. I don't know if you guys picked up that noise I just heard, but that was really creepy. In the game, I mean. So I'm looking at the thing I marked. No, I'm not. Wait. The horse is pointing at the thing I marked. I'm looking... I'm looking south right now. Oh yeah, that's that's what I marked. So I'm going the wrong way. Good, well, good thing I looked. So I'm going to have to back up, cross the river, and then ride along the mountain edge. I'm cu I'm curious what this is too. Oh, this might be the place. Is that where Dutch Not Dutch. Is that where we f we hunted down like a few of those O'Driscolls? Hmm. Well, let's get ourselves turned around real quick. Yeah. And really? We have to cross the river? Okay. Doesn't look that easy. Some tense music. I don't know if I like it. Alright, let's try this. That's probably better. Is this right, though? No. <laughs> what part of turn around and cross the... Okay. Yeah, we can't get to it from here. I'm going to really have to turn around. Yeah. Hey, if you want me to struggle with directions, just put me in the snow, apparently. Oh, careful, Butch. Careful. Hmm... I'll go cross the river again at a different point. You okay there, Butch? Struggling a bit. Yeah. Okay. Back here. Ride along the river. 
across it wherever I see. Yeah, I know where I'm yeah. going now. Pretty sure. There we go. Now if this was Skyrim, we could just ride our horse up that path. I mean, up that mountain. Speaking of Skyrim, I never finished that game. I've said it before, I get easily distracted with side quests and... It just... I take way too long. I think I've been doing okay with this game. I may be taking my good old time, but I'm enjoying it. I'm really enjoying it. Can we go up here? I don't know about this. I don't think we're supposed to go up here. But here we are. Wow. Yeah, we're... This is steep. It's doable, though. We made it. Now what? Oh! This is where I wanted to be. Easy now. There's lights in there. This is super creepy. This isn't where I wanted to be. Who built this? Who lived here? This is insane. Some hermit, I guess that wanted pure isolation from the rest of the world. This isn't the thing I saw, though. No, that's down there. Okay. Let me make sure there's not anything I'm missing. It looked pretty empty. Some pipes. There's a light on, though. I mean, I said that, but... It's really curious. I can't pick anything up. Well, let's go check this out, then. Oops. Little slick. doesn't look lived in. It looks abandoned by my standards. So it's probably safe. Looks like the wind blew a crate all the way over here. Don't get too close to the edge in case you slip. <sighs> should have should have came here in the daytime. Well, bear trap. Some logs. Not too much of interest. A snow shovel. Or shovel in general, I guess. It's locked. Don't I have something for... I mean, that's not going to work on that, but... I think I have something for that, don't I? Do I have a lantern somewhere? I do.
Okay, I've got to check out this residence. If that's what it is. What was that noise? Sun's coming up. That's promising. Okay, what do we have here? Food. Storage. I'll take whatever that is. Increase my dead eye XP, okay. Man, I'm not liking all the creepy noises. Biscuits. This, I mean, it could be lived in. I could be wrong. I will go check out the top, too. But... I don't know. Well, nothing in there. Just a journal. Speaking of journals. <laughs> Let's check mine. Goat. Found Flacco Hernandez. For that silly book. He jumped out of the way. He did. He did jump out of the way. But I still got him. Didn't seem like the type I was going to befriend anyways. Yeah, that's right. He was a he was a character. All right, let's check out this top. Anybody up here? Nope. Nope, didn't want to do that. Okay. We have a hammer, a barrel, some icicles. And a lockbox that I almost missed. Well, aged pirate rum and some coin sack. How about that? Not 12 bucks, okay. That's something. That's something. Is that all, all we found out here? Is it just a coin sack with 12 bucks? And the satisfaction of knowing what exists up here. And the view. Thumbnail, anyone? Hold on. Now that I'm this high, let's see if I can't see Horseshoe Overlook for real. There's Valentine. I'm, I think I saw that at night. I saw some lights over there. Horseshoe Overlook is here. That's about where I'm looking. That's southeast. There's the basin. That could be it. I'm not I'm not sure. There's a cabin there. More cabins there. Interesting. Okay then, I think it's time to go home. Oh, jeez. Nothing like falling down holes. Well, that was interesting. I'm still a little nervous. But we got what we came for. Which was knowledge. And curiosity. Can I go down this way? Kind of. It's a little slippery. We'll make our own path. Butch, are you coming? Can he, though? Oh, he's trying. He's trying his hardest. Poor thing. I'll let him figure that out. Oh, if only we had a sled. Wrong game. Wee! Yeah, that's... Ugh. 
kind of what I had in mind. Great. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. We've been through worse. Let's drink a... What's, what's the... Uh, not the H Pirate rum. Um, this. Well, that feels like overkill. Moonshine. Health cure. Miracle tonic. Right, we'll do it. Awesome. I'm cured. Hey, Butch found me. What'd you knock down, buddy? Some alcohol. <laughs> oh, look what this. Oh. Oh. Is that like a tiny little type of a railroad's track? What kind of thing is this? It looks so weird. Like a minecart, actually. Oh, I'm excited. Hold on. Can I go in here? Ah, I can. Whoa, look at this. What did I stumble on? Dynamite? Hmm. I wonder if this is part of a story mission. It's pretty exciting. I'm totally going in there, by the way. As much as I don't want to. Oh, I found a cigarette card. Looks like one of those, uh, yep, Gems of Beauty, card number eight. Agnes Guyon. Eh. Not bad, not bad. I forget the other one I, I collected. Cool. Plus five dead eye. Whoops. All right, Butch. What you're gonna do is, well, let me get my weapons from you. Oh, I already have them. Bring dynamite or throwing knives. Let's do dynamite. All right. I would quick save if it was that type of game. <laughs> Hold on. Let me remove this first of all. Where am I and why am I here? There's no sign that there's anything like this here. Like I happened upon this by pure pure happenstance. Unless, you know, you're investigating this and these little squares, but there's just no indication. Nice and dark. It's really hard to see. Oh, this has got to be part of a story mission, right? There's so much detail, I can't believe they would just make this for no reason. Well, if it is part of a story mission, I'm certainly not going to find anything. Any I'm going to get lost. Okay, before I take any forks, the rule number one is... Go left. Always go left. Old abandoned mine shaft. Oh. A fool on command. A fool on command. I'm going to ignore that. We've come to another fork. I'm going to go left. This is starting to feel like a very different game, and I'm, I'm kind of regretting my decision to come in here. Here's another path. I'm going to go left. This counts. I'm going to go left. Dead ends. This is a dead end too. Hmm. The 
This is so creepy. Okay, I've I've went in a circle. That's potentially good. This time, since I I don't think it'll be too crazy, let me go back. It looks easy to get out of, so let me just kind of follow my own path. Oh wow. <laughs> yeah, I was I was here before, okay. Maybe it's not as big as I thought. Ah, uh, we were here. We were here. Okay. I'll get out of here. Light at the end of the tunnel. And Butch faithfully waiting for me. What a good horse. Yep. Okay. We may see this place again, or we may not. Maybe it's just one of those places you might find randomly. Anyways. Let's get back to somewhat civilization. And, oh, I can do that? Okay. Well, we generally want to head southeast again. And then maybe we'll go collect from this Mr. Roble. From there... Hmm. From there, I'll probably start doing main quests again. Cause it, well, I, okay, hold on. Yeah, that but Black Betty and Billy Midnight are way not Black Betty. What's her? What's the Black Bell? I was confusing it with the song. Black Bell and Billy Midnight are way down here, so I might do a couple more main missions and get to them. But first, let's see if we can at least get back to civilization before I end the episode. Ah, oh, there's the music again. Let's enjoy it. <laughs> yeah, there, boy. And suddenly green. That was a quick transition. I'm always impressed with open world games like this and Breath of the Wild feeling so massive. Like the land area just feels like it stretches on for miles. But... Oh, here we are in legendary animal territory again. But, if you think about it, like... You know, in, in the game they acted like, oh, the trip from Colton... Coulter took, you know, who knows how long or days. But in reality, you can ride there in like less than 10 minutes. It would be like going down to your local grocery store on foot, you know. And they just do a such, such a good job of making it seem way more gigantic than it really is. Another horseback rider. How about that? Now, I was thinking about shooting that elk, but he's in the water. I don't want to waste my time on him. I should probably stick to the paths.
This is where we rob the train. See, I keep finding these places. Yeah. Must be a storm. Uh oh. That's never a good sign. Nope. And. And we crashed. Okay. At least it did seem to save us in a, a very similar spot. Let's make sure we know where we are real quick. Cattail Pond. Oh, this little king icon. That must be a legendary uh, animal, like legendary bison, legendary ram. Valentine's like right here though. We might be able to make it there. What's the best way to get there? What are dotted lines? Just little little trails or what? Hmm. Well let's ride as much east as we can, see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> That's my boy. Oh, I think I got something from Hosea that marked legendary animal locations on the map. So maybe that's from that. I see Valentine way off in the distance. We'll be there in no time, though. Hey, mister. Morning, fella. Morning, fella. Morning yourself, fella. Okay, now, um... That's... A long drop. Is there any normal way to get over there? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, maybe. That might be my best bet. Go that way. Oh, don't. Come on. Okay. Clearly there's some issues with the game. We will get to Valentine eventually. I'm too stubborn to end it right after a crash. So, let's try this again. Yeah. pretty. I love waterfalls. Who doesn't? And there's Valentine. We are home, basically. Turkeys. Goblin, goblin. Now, one thing I will do is I will end it um, in a hotel. So, I'm going to stay a night in a hotel. And, Hi, folks. you know, rest my cores and all that Don't stuff. And you'll get none. I'm always simply defending myself. Hello, welcome. Hello. Bath. Oh, here's here's where you can take a bath. Okay. Last time I checked, 
I, I really don't need any more trouble. I didn't come to make any. I was just protecting a lady. Well, all behind us now, I suppose. Man, so everyone just... you need? A, a bath, perhaps? No, not a bath. I'm perfectly clean. I'm gonna rent a room. You get a redneck working on this. Brings a smile to my face. Oh, you can use it to save progress, change outfits. Okay. And Valentine, that's not really necessary. He didn't say anything when I rented the room. But... I just don't want to go all the way back to Horseshoe Overlook at the moment. Can it, what, any room or what? Well, we all know I like the room 2B, so let's go with that. There's something weird going on out there. Well, let's search the dresser. Of course, there's nothing in it. Of course, there's nothing in that drawer, and of course, there's nothing in that drawer. All right, let's sleep and call it a day. You know, some people may think, let's just sleep till morning. Let's get 19 hours of sleep. <laughs> some people may think this was a very uneventful uh, episode, but I, I, once in a while, we need these types of episodes where we just kind of roam around, you discover... Not necessarily Easter eggs, but you just discover the world as the developer development team created it. And yes, we didn't really talk to anybody or do anything, but we found an abandoned mine shaft. We found a cabin up in the mountains. We, you know, got lost a bunch of times. It was great. So all that required us to sleep 19 hours straight. Not that I'm complaining. Sometimes I feel like I need that much sleep in real life, but... Alright, I'm gonna head back down, and I'll call it here. As always, thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode.